Hey Devin, I've missed you today. I can't wait to see you down the aisle. I know you're gonna look so great and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you so much. And why don't you recount the story of you guys first meeting? <laughs> so the time where we first met that we count um, was at a board game shop and um, Devin was playing a game with some of his friends and decided that he'd rather make a puzzle with me as I was seeing some friends that night. Um, so we just started talking and ended up at Waffle House at 3 a.m. and have kept talking since though. And what were some of your first impressions of him? <laughs> that he was the most kind person I've probably met and funny and then cute <laughs> and just like a really good person. And this, this is a similar question, but what are a few of your favorite things about him? Um, I love his heart the most. I think he treats everyone with kindness and respect. I love his humor. He's got the best dad jokes of anyone. <laughs> um, and I just, I love the way that he loves me and the way he treats me. <laughs> and how are you feeling right now? I'm anxious to see him. I'm nervous. But I'm excited. I'm excited to start the rest of our life together. And what's something you're ex you're most excited about for the short term, like upcoming weeks? Just spending time, having time off together, and just getting to actually hang out one on one for a while without having any interruptions from work and it just being about us. And what about what are you excited about for the long term? <laughs> long term, just growing a family, settling down traveling together, just all the life's ups and downs. So I get to have the best person by my side. And what's a lesson you feel like you've learned or something that he's taught you through your friendship with him? <laughs> I think the best thing I've learned from Devin is just how to love people and make them feel good. And that everyone's important in your life and you always share laughter and kind words with each other. And any last little thoughts or words to share to him? <laughs> Just that I love him and I can't wait. <laughs> hey Jordan, uh, it's a big day. We finally made it after all these months of stress and good times as well, but I'm so excited for the future. I'm excited to have a, at least a week off with you and just excited for the future. And why don't you recount the story of you guys first? <laughs> So, uh, the story that she would tell you is that I met her at a movie theater and I wouldn't let her into the movies for free and that was when we technically first met. But I count it as December 18, 2013 and we met at a board game shop and I was playing some games with some friends and I saw her come in and something, I don't know what it was, just I was compelled and I, I went over and you know we we talked for several hours while we colored in fairy tale coloring books and uh, afterwards we went to Denny's. They were closed, went to Waffle House and uh, that was the first night we met and it was a story from here. And what were some of your first impressions of her? Um, first impression was that just she was somebody that was very sweet and you know, sometimes she can be really shy, but when I first met her, it was like, you know, we were, we were friends already. And it was, it was just uh, some, some compelling driving force that, that brought us together and, you know. And this kind of runs together. Now, <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure there are, there are a thousand things. What are just a few of your favorite things about her? Uh, we have so many shared interests. We're both huge geeks with huge nerds. Um, she probably doesn't like that one, <laughs> that one the most, but uh, she's beautiful. Uh, she's, you know, the perfect friend for me. She keeps me in check. She, she knows when to, whenever I'm, you know, kind of procrastinating from something and keeps me in line and we're just a perfect fit for each other. And how are you feeling right now? Uh, butterflies, butterflies, excitement ready to see my best friend again. And what are some of the things you're most excited about for marriage in the short term, like the upcoming weeks? In the short term, uh, just ready to take a week off with her and really get to spend time with each other again with 
all of our, our searching and wedding planning for just everything. It's, you know, we've got to spend a lot of time with each other, but not, you know, just kind of us time. So excited to get back to that and uh, excited to, you know, hopefully start uh, a house hunt. And what are some of the things you're excited about for the long term, like 10 or 20 <laughs> yes. years? You know, whether it is kids raising a family or whether or not we opt to do something else, I'm excited to go on adventures and just uh, build a home, get to spend time with each other more. And what's a, what's a lesson you feel like you've learned through your friendship, like something she's taught you? Um, she's definitely taught me that I am not as intelligent as I think I am. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she just really just brings out the best in me. and. She's just really changed me as a person and, and made me a better person. And she truly is my better half, <laughs> whether cliche or cheesy that is. And any last little thoughts or words for her? <sighs> Jordan, I love you. I can't wait to see you again here in 30-ish minutes, I think is where we are. I'm so excited to see you again. I love you. I can't believe we're here today. <laughs> like, y'all getting married? working with Devin at Malco and like meeting you in high school and then I was like hey y'all should get together and I third wheeled at Waffle House and um, after that y'all were together all the time <laughs> which I'm really glad about because y'all are really good for each other and I don't know I can't cry I have fake eyelashes on. <laughs> I don't know I'm just really happy you found a good guy and I'm happy that Devin found a good girl Got to figure out what I want to say. Mm -hmm. And mm. also, Jordan, think of all those guys that we cried about in high school. What for? They're like irrelevant now. <laughs> like, never think of them again. You have Prince Charming. I like hate being sappy. Be sappy. Be sappy. Where's the syrup? Where's the syrup? <laughs> okay. Um, Jay, I honestly cannot think of anyone better to add to our family. You and Devin are just absolutely perfect for each other. And just the way that y'all look at each other, I just know that y'all love each other so much and you fit into our family perfectly. And we're so thankful for how you love Devin and how much you love our family. And we love your family. Um, and honestly, we can't imagine you not in our family now. Like y'all just are so perfect for each other and you fit with us perfectly. And I'm just so thankful for how much you have loved me and taken me in as your new sister and I'm so excited for um, all the years to come and all the holidays and wine nights and game nights and I'm just so excited for everything that the future holds and I'm thankful that it's you that we're doing it with. And do y'all have any particular, or first off like do y'all remember how you met Jordan? Yeah, so um, I met Jordan my freshman year of high school when Devin brought her um, to Melissa's birthday dinner at Bonefish. And I remember she was kind of quiet, but I was like, she seems really sweet. And then we just got to know her even better, and you can't help but love her when you get to know her. Mm -hmm. We met in high school, and she's been one of my best friends ever since. Like, the most, like, the person you can trust. Like, I don't think we've ever fought before. Like... We're just so compatible and easygoing, and she just loves she's everyone so, so sweet well. sweet and so loving. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. She's such a great friend. That's just like it. Like, one of the best people that you can have in your life. <laughs> and this sort of flows in, but what are a few of your favorite things about her? I think one of my favorite things about Jordan is how quick she is to love people. Like, anyone that she meets, she just is very quick to just love them and just get to know them for who they are. And she's just a real good, genuine person. And she just loves everyone that she meets with her whole heart. And it's honestly so admirable how, like just how she loves people. I think the genuine thing is like so true. Like so many girls are so mean, but like <laughs> Jordan is like a true person. Like you know what you're getting when you meet her. She's not fake. Like. It's just all real, it's all Jordan, and it's all great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And what are some of the things y'all are most excited about for them being married? Babies! 
<laughs> I'm ready to be an aunt. Um, um, I'm excited just for, I mean, Jordan's basically been a part of our family for years now. And so I'm just excited for many years to come, many more family trips, many more family dinners, game nights, wine nights, and then become an auntie. Mm -hmm. Just seeing them grow together and like move through life together, mm -hmm. I think will be really awesome to see. Yeah. Any last little thoughts or words for them? Mm -hmm. Still can't believe y'all are married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're um, not like 16 in high school anymore. <laughs> We're not a Malco um, porn popcorn. <laughs> like, it's just crazy. It seems like yesterday. <laughs> um, I love y'all and I can't imagine life without y'all. And I'm just so thankful for who y'all are and that y'all are my brother and sister. <laughs> hey, got her. Congratulations! Woo! You made it! I just almost said they had a I baby. I can't believe you're allowed to get married. <laughs> what How are happened? You not I feel like we're on a sitcom show. <laughs> <laughs> but like one that's going to get canceled or something? Yeah! <laughs> we are definitely getting canceled. Okay. Anywho, so what we're here for. What are well, we here for? <laughs> I mean, we could talk about how long we've known them. Oh, well, since you Jordan forever. was pushed out of the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> since our parents pushed us together into friendship, which I'm very grateful for. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, and then I had to be her friend after that, so, you know. Don't uh, act like we're not family. I honestly... How dare you just call me a friend? Sorry, I love you. Yeah. Do you even remember meeting Devin? Because I don't remember meeting Devin at all. I'm trying to remember the first time I met him. He's just, like, always been there. And the perfect compliment to Jordan. It feels like he's always been there. Exactly. Like, like they just You were just there. Together. Like he, he picks up where she leaves off. He understands her in a way that doesn't seem like it should be natural, but you know, it works. It works well. And we love him. Ish. So much. Oh, oh my gosh. She said so much, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's us. Yeah, true. Uh, I see you uh, probably already been to the bar once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> this is us just high on life. Yeah. High on your wedding. Right. Thankfully, and I'm not crying anymore. Do you remember like meeting Jordan? We met, the first time my mom walked me over to your house, you were having a garage sale, not you personally, obviously, but your mother was having a garage sale. You were inside snacking on something, most likely, and playing Pringles. some game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Maybe Orange Crush uh, or root beer. And then your mom was just like, okay, Haley, go on in. There's snacks and everything. And I'm like, I've never been here. I don't know these people, but... From there on out, it was like I was part of the family. At least that's how I felt. So thank you for always extending that and See, enveloping me. We didn't me in like love. her. We grew on each other like a fungus. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Too far. And Woo! What are a few y'all's favorite things about her? About Jordan, my little Jorge. She just has the purest heart of anyone I've ever met. But the sassiest streak. Just definitely from Paul. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I don't know where she got the heart from. <laughs> <laughs> That's just natural. She just, even when she didn't have to be my friend, she was. And obviously, you know, we were young, so that's, that's one factor. But she's always been there. She's always been the person I can rely on. Even when we go months or years at a time without speaking, when we do reconnect, it's like we just pick up where we left off. And I feel that, that love and that like Bailey mentioned, you know, that genuine spirit of I love you for you and you don't have to change a thing about you. And that's also one of the really great things about Jordan. She doesn't have to change anything about her. She's just her unequivocally, which is hard to do in this day and age. Ditto. <laughs> that was well said. <laughs> and then uh, what's, a, what's a lesson you feel like you guys have learned from Jordan, something she's taught you? Friendship is, how do I word this? And you can also sort of rephrase all the questions, like she's really tough. Okay. You have an answer yet? I think Jordan is not only the most loyal friend I have, she's the most loyal human I've yes. met, truly. Every turn she's there and with bells on, you know, she just wants to help. She just wants to cheer everybody up and happy like I said she has like the purest heart of anyone I've ever met and she just she's taught me how to be compassionate even when I don't want to be 
and how to see the good in people. Even, don't make me cry. Even when I don't want to see the good in someone. And she just, I don't know, like she just always brings you back to reality and just has that perfect demeanor. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so does Devin. I mean, truly, Devin is one of the most warm people I've ever met. You know, I haven't been able to spend as much time with him as I would like, but every time I am with him or every time I introduce him to somebody he doesn't know, he just immediately is warm and gracious and funny, (laughs) engaging. It's a beautiful family that those two are together now, and I can't wait to see what happens. And do you have any last little thoughts or words for him? Live long and prosper. Grow together. I did it like that. (laughs) As the only two people to work at Malco with you, Devin, we know how it really is working behind the uh, the screens. I just don't know where to go from here. I have nothing to say. I literally have nothing to say. I was not prepared for this. Devin, Jordan, I love you. Bye. <laughs> Can somebody give us like How something about, like, to work do you on? Do remember when you met Devin? Why? Oh, I remember when I met Devin. Okay, I was being interviewed at Malco, and then this guy comes upstairs with a sombrero and a rat tail. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And what am I getting myself into? <laughs> and things never change. Right, things never change. And then he showed me the stale gray poop in the in theater at Malco. <laughs> she was so abandoned or and haunted. I can't remember when I met Devin. What makes this weird? And Jordan. Yeah, I just remember just, always it knowing have them. Not to be the first time, but just like a particular memory you had with him. Oh, my favorite Jordan memory. Oh man. Okay, so. I don't, I, we're just like a small pool party in the backyard. And Jordan walks outside with her phone and Reese. <laughs> and she wants to throw Reese in the pool because he's being a little bitch. And instead, she throws her phone straight into the pool. <laughs> and fried it. That's, that's the best Jordan memory I have. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. What are a few of your favorite things about? Either her or Jordan or Devin. Oh, this is gay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is gay. This is gay. Oh. His <laughs> smile. Her smile. <laughs> well, Devin is the uh, nicest person I have genuinely met, and it kind of pisses me off. Man, he's got a great I ass. <laughs> he's got a great ass. <laughs> yeah. I think... I, I think we took all of your things to say. He's got a great ass, yeah. yeah I think that, that sums it up. Devin's got a great ass. <laughs> Griffin's got a great ass. <laughs> Jordan has great taste in literature, and Devin has a great ass. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Well, first I'd like to say that Devin has a great ass. <laughs> um, uh, Devin will love to tell everybody that my first interaction with, with him was him telling me good job at the talent show and me completely blowing him off. And I still to this day say that would never happen. He didn't actually say anything, but it's fine. I'd say uh, one of my first memories of hanging out with Devin is uh, playing RuneScape. A lot of RuneScape, chopping down a lot of yew trees. Still level 80, never, never making it to 99. Uh, and also walking to Flying Burrito and applying for jobs and never getting a call back. It was great. <laughs> My first experience with Jordan, she came to my apartment. Me and Chase had an apartment and uh, we were playing Settlers of Catan. And she was like the most ruthless, oh, man. merciless player I had ever seen in my life, especially to Devin. Yes. Especially to Devin. She'd always bat her eyes at him to get him to play her side and then she'd cut his throat every I mean, time. She would slit his throat <laughs> and destroy him without even feeling bad about it. It was mm. great. I was like, this is a great relationship right here. Yeah. But now, after I got to know Jordan, she's one of the sweetest, one of the mm-hmm. kindest people I've ever met, and uh, just absolutely perfect for absolutely. Devin. Yeah. And, and, and make a, y'all. I guess y'all. I'm talking to you, so y'all make a great <laughs> couple. I was yeah. happy to be a part of your big day. Absolutely.
and any other of your your favorite qualities of either of them besides his ass? Uh, <laughs> Again, I'd like to say that Devin has a great ass. <laughs> um, did I already say that? No. Uh, no. Not, uh, well, Devin's you got, say it got enough. a great ass, man. Um, Jordan is... Uh, Like I said, she's just one of the sweetest and kindest people. I feel like she'll have a conversation mm-hmm. and meet you where you are and be able to talk to you about whatever's going on and uh, just an easy, good person to talk mm-hmm. to. Yeah. yeah. They're always there for you when you need them. Exactly. For sure. That's a great way to so. put it, both of them. So congratulations to both of you. Yay. Devin's ass, am I right? No, it's, it's simply flawless. Mm. Um, so, oh, hi. Jordan, Devin, um, you guys have been some of the best friends that I've ever had, and I don't really know what my life would be like without having you there, so I, I appreciate everything that you've ever done for me and all the kind thoughts and, and positivity that you've brought around. Uh, I, I really appreciate it, and I'm glad that you guys have ended up finally married to each other, because you deserve the best, and that's what you got. Man, so, the, so we're thinking of, like, first time we met, and obviously Jordan. <laughs> I remember being three. And, <laughs> guys had all the attention in the world, and it was great. And then they came over from the hospital, and they were like, yeah, but a sister. And I was like, can you take that? Because, one, I wanted a brother. And, two, <laughs> she was, like, hogging the spotlight. And I just, I didn't realize until now at 28 that like the, the potential to get a brother was there. I just had to wait long enough <laughs> and bam, now I got one. So thanks Jordan. Yeah. But, uh, in all seriousness, I, I've considered a Devin, I've considered Devin a brother for a long time now. Like saying it out loud for the first time today was a realization but in all seriousness Devin you've been like a brother for a long time now and there's virtually no one else I could imagine in that position we play D&D on a regular basis and I think I I realized the potential of y'all's relationship when Jordan in character no matter what game we play, no matter what campaign, every time y'all made new characters, Jordan's character immediately just relentlessly flirts with Devin's. <laughs> and is just like a hardcore, like trying to just like get dead ass. And boy, and, it's a nasty game. <laughs> and Devin, every time, is just like, I mean, get on him. He's trying to save the people and like, you know, save the kingdom, blah, blah, blah. But like, Jordan's goal every time is to get dead ass. <laughs> and I have to applaud that relentlessness. That's what you need in a relationship. But uh, y'all compliment each other really well. And I'm just proud to be a brother to two people now. And Dakota, what are, what are some of your favorite things about them? So I love that I can count on Devin just... Basically, no matter what's going on, if I reach out and ask for help or try to have a conversation or just like, hey, can we hang out and play board games? He's always down. And it doesn't matter if something else is going on, if he can tell that I'm not having a good time, he'll make himself available. And uh, Jordan's always been the same as well. It's a little different because I went to high school with him. He was one of my best friends and like we've... That's how I met Jordan, was my best friend's sister, <laughs> so, but I just, you guys, you complete each other, and you, you make the world a better place, just kind of, in general, just your positivity, your attitudes, and everything about you. Any last little thoughts or words for him? Yes. So, uh, my brother Miles, which I don't know why I introduced him like that, because you know who he is. Um, he would have loved to be here, and I know he wishes you guys the best. And, uh, yeah. I mean, y'all just kind of complete everything. Like, any, no matter what y'all show up to, no matter what situation it is, two of y'all there just complete it. 
Also, once, now that this wedding is all done, I want to get our campaign started again. Mm -hmm. That's it. You go. Great ass. Let's start off with that. Start off strong. <laughs> Devin. Obviously not, not Jordan. Devin. We would never look at Jordan that way. No. no Devin, never. great ass. Great, and Jordan, great. great taste in literature. Um, yeah, I guess where to begin. I think uh, my first experience with Devin was meeting him at the Great Festival through another friend. And my, <laughs> I was riding in the squirrel cages with my girlfriend at the time. And my brother, who wanted to ride with me, instead rode with Devin. And forever since then, Devin was known as that short guy I rode in the squirrel cages with. <laughs> so I think Devin would get a kick out of that. Or you would get a kick out of that. The short guy I rode in the squirrel cages with. Um, yeah, just like met through mutual friends. And like Chase said, really, we played RuneScape together for years and made zero progress on anything. That game is such a waste of time, but it was fun really wasting is. time with you and just hanging out really virtually is, is more or less like those old chat rooms like AIM or something, but we were just cutting U's. So many U's. Still in the 80s. Never 99. Aww. Never got that cake. Never. Never. Let's see. I think, uh, let's see, one of my best uh, memories or my first encounter with Devin was uh, literally first day of sophomore year of high school, uh, second period. I ended up having a class with him, obviously. We started talking about uh, our pets and uh, kind of where we lived and just happened to find out that we actually lived right behind each other. <laughs> uh, so really from that day on, going forward, Anytime we wanted to hang out, we would literally just hop over the fence and I would just literally open his gate and walk into his backyard. Um, uh, our dogs at the time too. Pimpsy. Pimpsy. Roscoe Diva. Diva. <laughs> R.I.P. Roscoe Diva. <laughs> Max. <R. I>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, great times whenever we wanted to play video games. So again, literally just hop over. Uh, his Nana would always be there with dinner. Totino's pizzas. Totino's pizzas. Always fresh. Always ready for us. Always supreme. Yeah. No, not a huge fan. We made it work. We made it work. <laughs> and uh, we'd stay up till 3 a.m. every day, basically, yeah. until if, we got to go to school at 8. <laughs> yeah. If it wasn't Devin's house, it was your house, and we were playing, like, hundreds and hundreds of hours of rock band. Exactly. Rock band, Halo, RuneScape, all the land parties. I think I heard it on the radio... If we had spent half as much time playing an actual instrument as we spent playing rock band, we'd be Tom fucking Morello. 100%. But it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> he rocked the bass really well, by the way. He was pretty decent. I mean, he could, couldn't do Greengrass and High Tides on Expert, but... That's true. We won't fault you for it. <laughs> and any words for Jordan? Oh, man. So I actually didn't meet Jordan until... I want to say... I didn't meet her until I moved back to Arkansas, like, a year ago. So, I may have, like, interacted with them briefly here and there, you know, virtually or something, but I never really got to know her until I moved back, and we really got thrown straight into the fire playing, like, Mansions of Madness and other games. And she went insane and tried to murder me, and, you know, just normal things. Um, but it was, it was always really nice because it was, like others have said, she does it with such a kind heart, so you're like... She's murdering me, but she's so sweet about it. And she makes it like her story. She was playing Diana, who's a reformed cultist, but really her card just says she's a cultist. But she's reformed because Jordan's playing her. And that's, of course, the spirit of Jordan is that she, she is reformed. And so while she's always trying to twist the story in some way to be sweet, she's definitely still stabbing you in the back. It's one of the things I love about Jordan. 100%. Let's see. I think uh, my story's pretty similar, although I obviously got to meet her a lot sooner than Caleb did. Um, it just all really started with board games one night. I think we would head on over to Chase's or we would head on over to one of the guys' place, literally start playing board games. Uh, what was funny with Jordan is that any character that I would choose, that would already be her character. <laughs> so she would kind of give me that look like, don't pick that. Mm -hmm. But I always fought her on it. Um, so anytime she 
got the opportunity in a, in a spot in the game, she would definitely attack me with <laughs> no remorse. Yes. And uh, there I'd be sitting out of the game That's for the, the next hour. Day. That's the decision you made. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was the one to always poke the bear, I guess, if you want to call awesome. it that way. Um, but yeah, you, you guys are two of the sweetest people. Uh, I have never had a disagreement or an argument with either of you genuinely can say that, which is something I can say about very few people because I'm quite opinionated. Absolutely. And you guys are just so go easygoing, so easy to get along with, and just two of the greatest people I've ever known. And to have you guys together forever now, it's, it's just incredible. Congratulations. Congrats.